Hoy no entiendo muy bien topic. Ito ang ating objectives. Una, dapat pagkatapos ito ay may idea na kayo sa arithmetic sequence. Pangalawa, dapat marunong na kayo mag-solve ng arithmetic sequence. Okay, what is an arithmetic sequence? An arithmetic sequence is like counting and you add the same number each time. For example, if you start at 2 and keep adding 3, you get 2, 5, 8, 11, and so on. Similarly, when dealing with a subtraction-based arithmetic sequence, you consistently subtract the same number at each step. It's just a list of numbers that go up or down by the same amount each step. Let me give an example. 3, 5, 7, at 9. Bibigyan ko kayo ng madaling paraan paano makuha ang common difference ng problem na ito. Remember, na ang consecutive terms ay pare-parehas ng differences. Kailangan mo isubtract ang a sub 2 at ang a sub 1. Gamitin natin ang problem. 5 minus 3 is equal to 2. Kaya naman ang common difference nila ay 2. Imana mana natin. 3 plus 2 equals 5. 5 plus 2 equals 7. At 7 plus 2 equals 9. Nagigess nyo at napapansin nyo ba ang pattern? Makikita nyo na sila ay nag add up by 2. Next, example para sa subtraction. 9, 7, 5, at 3. Same lang dun sa ginawa kanina. Subtract 7 at 9. The common difference will be negative 2. Therefore, 9 minus 2 is equals to 7. 7 minus 2 is equals to 5. 5 minus 2 is equals to 3. And so on, nagsasubtract ang sequence ng 2. Eh paano naman po yung paghahanap ng mga mahahabang terms? Example, like finding the 30th term, etc. Yun ang next na ituturo ko. Next ay ang formula na gagamitin natin sa paghahanap ng nth term or a sub n. So, Here's the formula. a sub n is equals to a sub 1 plus the quantity of n minus 1 multiplied by d or the common difference. Sundan natin ang guide kung paano gamitin ang formula ng maayos. Basta makinig lang kayo. First, understand the formula. The arithmetic sequence formula is used to find the nth term of an arithmetic sequence. An arithmetic sequence is a sequence of numbers in which the difference between consecutive terms is constant. The formula is a sub n is equals to a sub 1 plus the quantity of n minus 1 multiplied by d or the common difference. Meet the characters. a sub n is the term that is needed to be found. a sub 1 is the first term of the arithmetic sequence is the position of the term you need to find. And D is the common difference between consecutive terms. Gamitin natin ang example dito. Find the 30th term of this arithmetic sequence. 2, 5, 8, 11. Second is identify the values. You need to know the values of A sub 1, N, and D to use the formula. These values should be given in the problem or you should be able to calculate them. Third, plug in the values. 
we substitute the values of a sub 1 n and d into the formula and solve for a sub n. Formula a sub n is equals to a sub 1 plus the quantity of n minus 1 multiplied by d or the common difference, which is a sub n equals to 2. Dahil 2 ang first term ng ating sequence sa ating problem. Plus the quantity of 30 minus 1 dahil 30th term ang inahanap sa ating problem. And multiply by 3 dahil 3 ang nahanap natin common difference kanina. And last is calculate A sub N. After plugging in the values, perform the necessary arithmetic operations to find the nth term A sub N. A sub N is equals to plus the quantity of 29 multiplied by the quantity of 3. A sub n is equals 2 plus 87. A sub n is equals 89. Paano naging 87? Pinagmultiply natin ang 29 sa 3. And 29 times 3 is equals 87. Paano naman naging 89? Pinag-add lang natin ang 2 at 87. And 2 plus 87 is equals 89. At dun natin nakuha ang sagot. Dali lang, di ba? Basta kailangan lang magbasa at kumintindi ng maigi.